how do you not hit the ground if you have a G-lock? So a G-lock stands for G-induced loss of consciousness. When you're pulling G's in a fighter jet, it is the force that you're pulling is nine G's, right? It's nine times your body weight. So if the average human brain or human head weighs like, I don't know, 10 to 12 pounds or something, it weighs 100 pounds under G. But also the blood is being forced down and you tend to pass out and we do a G-stream maneuver to stay conscious. Well, what you see in this video, as those two chevrons come towards the middle before they touch, what you're seeing is the auto G-cast system. It was added in the mid 20 teens and it is a way to save the airplane and the pilot's life if they pass out under G. So you see later in the video that the uh, pilot starts pulling G's and when they hit that really high G, they actually, the nose starts to drop, the G eases off and you can tell that this pilot is now unconscious from a G-lock. The airplane continues descending nose down and then you see there's two chevrons or like, uh, you know, diagonals that come in from the side. That is auto G-cast telling the pilot, I'm about to recover your airplane. And as soon as they touch in the middle, it goes into a recovery. And so the plane will be diving down nose low, the pilot's unconscious. When those two chevrons touch, the plane rolls to wings level and recovers itself. Now this has already saved numerous lives. If we'd had this in the plane decades before, it would have saved dozens of lives because G-lock is very often fatal for the pilot. So this is a phenomenal video of a life being saved through auto GCAS. Thanks for sending it to me. If you have more like it that you want me to comment on, send me a DM or drop it in the comments and like and follow for more.